My favorite feature in Windows 10 is a new virtual desktop called Task View. It is extremely useful when you work on multiple projects and find yourself constantly switching between various programs and windows. Task View lets you collate related apps and windows into separate desktops so that you can switch from one project to another and find related apps and programs more easily. It saves time by eliminating the need to minimize, maximize and move windows around to find the ones you need for a particular task. The Task View button is pinned to the taskbar right next to the search box. If you click on it, you'll see two blank desktops. So let's organize some open windows into these desktops. Let's open up File Explorer, Mail, Calendar, Calculator, Photos, and OneNote. Now that a lot of windows are open, click the Task View button. At the top of the screen, you can see all the open windows displayed in a thumbnail view. At the bottom, you can see that all these open windows are currently in Desktop 1. Now let's move a few of these open windows to another desktop. Let's say you're going to add some photos to OneNote. Drag Photos and OneNote to Desktop 2. If you want to read through your email and set up some calendar appointments while you're at it, click New Desktop to create Desktop 3. Then hover your mouse over Desktop 1 and drag the Mail and Calendar apps into Desktop 3. Now you have apps and windows spread across three virtual desktops. To switch between these desktops, you can click the Task View button and select the one you want. You can also use the keyboard shortcut of Control, Windows and arrow key to switch between the desktops. To go to Desktop 1, you press Control, Windows and the left arrow key. And to go back to Desktop 3, you press Control, Windows and the right arrow key. One thing to remember with multiple desktops is that the taskbar icons will appear only on the desktop that they are open on. So on Desktop 3, you can see the Mail and Calendar app icons. If you switch over to Desktop 2, you'll see the taskbar icons for Photos and OneNote apps. There are some exceptions though, such as the Skype icon, which tends to show up on all desktops even if you've opened it on just one. Another popular shortcut key that we use to switch between apps on a desktop is the Alt-Tab key. This can be used in Windows 10 to switch between apps on the current desktop that you're using. So if you press Alt-Tab on this desktop, you can only switch between the Photo and OneNote apps. If you go to Desktop 3 and press Alt-Tab, you can only switch between the Mail and Calendar apps. You can change this behavior by tweaking the settings. So let's go to Settings, System, Multitasking. Under Virtual Desktop, click the top drop down menu and select All Desktops. This will display all the open windows on all the desktops. As you can see here, these app icons have just been added to the current taskbar. Similarly, if you select All Desktops in the second drop down, and then press Alt Tab, you can switch between open programs on any desktop. So let's close Settings and press Alt Tab. You can see all the currently open apps and windows. So even if you're on Desktop 3, you can switch directly to Desktop 2 by clicking on OneNote. This is a much more natural behavior because you don't have to keep clicking the Task View button every time you want to switch to apps on a different desktop. If you no longer want a desktop, click Task View again, roll your mouse over that desktop and click the X button. Now let's get rid of Desktop 3 and Desktop 2. You'll notice that all the apps and windows are back on the original desktop. If you think that the Task View is a redundant feature that you won't use, you can right click on the Task View button and uncheck Show Task View button. 
This will give you some extra icon space on the taskbar. Anytime you want to bring it back, right click on the empty space in the taskbar and check that option. So that's how you work with the new task view feature in Windows 10.